Good morning, y'all. About to run offshore. Had these bait traps out for 20 minutes. Fully loaded. That is bad in the bone. Uh oh. We got Brian and Nathan with us this morning. I'll turn that off. This Good looks morning. like trouble. Got some heat lightning. We'll run from that, hopefully. Ain't gonna be much of nothing. There's a couple little dots in the Gulf, but I think we'll be all right. Oh, top water bite. Loose speed stick. Loose speed stick. Oh, lame fish. Oh, something's blowing up bait right there. What's the story, Brian? What are we doing? I think we're going to try to go out that way. I'm just kind of waiting on the weather. Got yeah. rain over here. Rain straight out. Clear where we're headed. Hopefully those other two don't come this way. What do you think, Nathan? Think about rain. Yeah. yeah. Just watch them, wait, and run if you have to. We're going to mess around right here. Look at this beautiful sunrise. And Throw some top water. Look how Chris, this looks like the Bahamas. Holy smokes. Look at the rocks and the current. There's got to be something right here, guys. Well, maybe it'll pass. <laughs> Alright, we made it out to the spot, folks. All those pinfish were caught at the dock this morning. Drop them down Carolina rig. We're in about 80 feet of water. Let's see what happens. Playing with the Alabama cobia. Look. You gotta be kidding me. That's good. Keep that dude, right? Let's keep this one for bait. Oh, he's starting to fight now. No. He knows he's hooked now. All right, there we go. Yeah, now we're talking. Now we're talking, Brian. Think so? Keep trying. Here's your own, Nathan. Oh, yeah. Here's your Red snapper. Think? Snapper. Yep. Little guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, heck yeah, man. What you got, Nathan? Mangrove. All right. to the test. Now he's running to the front. Look how fast. Oh, what is this? This is a neat or amber. Or, uh, no. How big old albacore. Giant. Fight. Woo 
big one. That's a nice one, huh? <laughs> Holy smokes. Man, I was throwing the uh, old Lou's Custom Inshore Plus, the new Custom Inshore Series 35. And this dude just smashed it. Wow, just a little casting lead in white. A fella from Houston brought that for me. Look how pretty that is, huh? Holy smokes. That's awesome. All right, let's do that some more. Chum. There we go. That's some good, good chum. There's a lot of there's a lot of tuning on this reef. I'm guessing that's what it is. It sure is fighting like one. Oh man, Brian, these suckers fight. If that's what it is, I don't know what it is. But... And I'm coming back. I don't care what's going on. If I think there's too near around, I'm going to throw for them. There's so much fun on light tackle. I was getting so many hits, I decided to go with a spoon that had a single hook on it, a one-aught. This gets me a deep hook set, and it's not so much trouble with all the trebles when you bring them in. I was trying lots of lures like the Cappy Minnow, but that slab spoon was winning out. Uh-uh, that's something that's a Ramara. One of the bonito that we caught earlier, you caught earlier, and so just chunking them up, throwing them in the chum churn, and get us a slick going out here out back behind the boat. Hopefully bring the sap, snapper up or something up. The chum churn's a neat gadget. You put fish or, or chunks of fish into it, and there's blades on that pipe that runs through it, so when you shake it, it dices them up, and instant chum. It's dispersing. I hear that sound brings them in too. Ooh, what's that following you? Is that a cobia? It sure is. It's a cobia. 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 Oh, it's coming back. Come back. He just took it. Still swallow. I just got hammered. Look at him. Shake his head, man. Awesome. Nathan's trying to hurry up and tie on a cobia jig. Wait a sec. He grabbed my pinfish. Fish on. Keeper? Oh yeah. Give him some air. Nice cobia though. He was close. He gone. A lot of times when you run offshore, you can stop by the bait boat and buy some bait. This time we happen to have a cast net 
some traps. We got to the boat ramp early and we were able to catch all the pinfish we need for the day. Ah, put the speed stick through the riggers with the tuning. Oh yeah, that's another one. More chum churn. Unless we bleed this one. I might start bleeding them and take the meat. Man, these suckers can fight. Holy smokes. Got a cobia? No, it's a... One more. Oh, the cobia. Well, get away from Nathan, please. You don't think these things can fight? That thing's three, four pounds and it's taking 10 minutes to get in there. Oh, he's a little bigger than that. Well, oh, he's blown up, man. Look at that color, huh? Whew. Man, that's, that's one of my favorite fish, Brian. Yeah, it's fun to catch. Amazing, man. They get bigger. Yeah, they do. That's it. Silver fingernail polish. Beautiful fish, man. I think I'm going to bleed him out. Try to get some meat off of him. We're going to keep doing this. Let's do it. I think he's already trying to bleed out. You playing with the remoras? Trying to see if I can get one to bite a lid. Wait. <laughs> sure is. Nice. Little guy. Said, you know, it's a calm day when they're bringing their pontoon boats 10 miles offshore. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do some running and see if we can't find some more tuning. There he is. Oh, look. Cappy Minnow? <laughs> you dog. It's that same Cappy Minnow, Nathan. <laughs> Nathan makes those guys. If you want one, let hit him up. What's the best way to get hold of you with that Cappy Minnow? What's the Facebook? Nathan Mentier. M E N T E E R, last name. I don't know if Brian's going to get this guy in. <laughs> I don't think so. Is it or Kobe? Remora. That's a big one. There you go, okay. Okay, you going either way. Yeah, you go. Good. Got him, Nathan? Good job, man. Good job. Oh, there we my. Go. <laughs> oh! There he is on top. That was bad to the bone. On the surface. Oh, he spit. Did he? Yeah. Oh, yeah. He didn't even know he was hooked. Oh, that's pretty, man. It's full light, full sunlight. It's all right. I got one going anyway. Well, maybe not. Maybe he's going <laughs> to. So when a fish sends out a distress signal like this, it tells the other big predators that it's wounded, that it's hurt, it's easy pickings. Something was on his booty, and he was gonna get away if he could. Oh. Oh, good lord, oh my. Dang. Something after him or something? Maybe. Probably shark or dolphin after him. Like yeah, that. Something after. Something's on him. Okay. 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 I don't know what he took off. That was crazy, man. Good job, Nathan. Nice. Pretty much, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I love them single hooks, dude. Big boys. Three bucket. Yeah. Thanks, sir. So we had... <laughs> I was fighting that... Uh, 
tuna and something was on him, something big, and that fish was this big. Something was after him. Well, he just, he went from going fast to hyperdrive. And it was obvious something was chasing. Don't know what it was, we never saw it. But uh, just throwing a slab spoon in white, ripping it across the surface. That's it. Maybe we'll see some more going back in We're on the way to the next reef. snapper there. Much better fish man, much better fish. Double, double, double. That's a keeper. That's a keeper. They're killing me guys. <laughs> They're killing me. Not paying attention to it? Yep, I got a bite right there. Brian's got a bump. Get him Brian. Ooh, that's a better one. Appreciate it. That's a good one right there. Yeah. And you've got to have it so close to the bottom. Right. Just a little short. It's pretty. pretty. Just not edible. Legally. You're right. <laughs> close but no cigar. Come on, Nathan, get him in the boat. I could tell Nathan had hung something much bigger than what we've been pulling off the bottom. Oh, yeah, baby. That's a good one. Oh, that's the fish of the day. Holy smokes! Good job, buddy. Oh. Ah. Look at that one, guys. Holy smokes. I don't think I need to measure that one. No. Uh, no. That's a big dog. <laughs> now, how much do you think he weighs? 15? I said 15 pounds. Nice. Good job. <sighs> and then had some cigar minnows, frozen cigar minnows, and we're just using that as cut bait uh, and dropping that down. and. Uh, that's what we were catching the snapper on. Most of it was on just the cut bait. So, would you get that big one on Nathan? Uh, half a cigar minnow on a knocker rig, five odd circle hook. Good times. And we're off. Homeward bound. Well, we only got one amberjack. You got it. Right. Yeah. Undersized. Yeah. We got, what, three keeper snapper. Right. Not too bad. Nathan got a monster. And a mangrove. That's right. Mangrove, right. And an undersized cobia. Yeah. Yeah. Just shy. A little mixed bag today. Not too bad. All right. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. And we'll see y'all next time right here on 30 Miles Out. Oh, oh 10, 10 miles out today. <laughs> See y'all next time right here on 10 Miles Out. We'd like to send a special thank you out to all of our Patreon supporters. Thank you! For unique and exclusive content, head on over to Patreon and become a 30 Mile Out patron. What?